What's up, everybody? Happy Sunday. So we're at the beginning of a new week. Um, I just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys in, in, in addition to a general reading from the Classic Tarot um, for you guys for the collective. I wanted to let you guys know that this Friday night, I unfortunately will not be doing a live on TikTok. Not because I'm still banned. They actually lift the ban for me. But um, I've actually been invited to do a one-hour feature live on Facebook on a karaoke group. Um, I don't know if you all realize this, but I do sing and um, I will be on there singing. <laughs> so, you know, if you if you wanna join in and, and, and check it out, you're welcome to just hit me with a DM and I'll send you the link um, for the group on Facebook so that you can um, join in and, and, and enjoy the fun. So I understand that it's a pretty fun group um, if you like that sort of thing, if you like karaoke, you like singing, you like to listen to singing, um, if you like my singing, if you've heard it before, whatever. Uh, but I'll be appreciate. I'm very appreciative of your support and your love on TikTok. And of course, if you're there, I will thank you so much. I would appreciate that as well, that, that support. Um, and that's a confirmation what just happened. <laughs> 100%. 100% will appreciate that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and dive in and see what the current energy is and what's to come and all those fun things all right spirit what does the collective need to know about what's to come what is the message here we go Okay, I feel like some of you are in a mode of like needing to make a decision, but you you have this fear of the unknown, um, have no clue on how to plan it, whatever the case, on um, this whatever decision you're trying to make. You you have you're lacking the foresight of what would be like what would be to come of it, what obstacles, delays, and long-term goals that, you know, things that could get in the way. I do show that there is some egotism here, lack of confidence, so it does make you fall from grace a bit. Um, and the egotism is, is really the, the main reason for the insecurity, honestly. And hence the reason you gotta feed that ego constantly because of that insecurity. Now, I also I also am picking up very much that this is you in this collective, that you are very courageous, you're very persistent, and you are one of those that will test the, the tip the scales, uh, or at least take that chance of tipping the scales. Now, um, your, your ultimate goal here is being weighed down by your lack of motivation and delays and the reason for that is you are emotionally immature at the moment meaning you're trying to repress all of your emotions and you're afraid of actually touching into those emotions like like you're scared of your own damn self <laughs> you know what i mean like you you know it you want it but you're scared of it um yeah see and this is something that you feel like you have invested so much time and energy in like you have you have constantly been trying to to get with this person okay it's a person that you're trying to get with um this has been such a challenge for you such a competition so that's telling me that this person's not been easy <laughs> um i feel like you have did some self sabotage here and of course at this moment in time you have a, a decision to make that you can't make like it's an indecision like the hangman is reversed here okay um and then of course like i said you're you've persevered however um you feel like, i feel like you have won the challenge however at the same token you haven't actually won the challenge and i know that probably doesn't make sense it doesn't really make sense to me but it does at the same time <laughs> so in other words you this has been such a competition but you have won the competition so in other words layman's terms you didn't know you could get the girl you tried to get the girl couldn't get the girl but now that you know you can get the girl there you are okay um and then of course you're going to be kind of wishy-washy as a result of this you're going to be feeding your ego with that self-sabotage that self-doubt because of this reason that ego is going to cause your person Okay, this person you've been chasing, this queen of pentacles, who's independent, she's motherly, she's caring, she's compassionate, she's everything you want in a woman, okay? 
it's going to make her very imbalanced in work and everything. And it's going to cause her stress. Okay. Because you can't fucking make a decision. You're going to cause her to be like, I don't know how to explain it, but come on now. Get with the program, sir. Um, or even ma'am with masculine energy. <laughs> okay. You're very greedy and, you know, and you've been very greedy in the past with this relationship, this connection. Okay. Um, hmm. You have to realize this person is a person, too. You know, it's not all about you. <laughs> um, I do believe that you have been in some sort of a, an illusion. You put yourself in this illusion, this diversionary tactic because of this reason. Um, you have steered yourself away from thinking about this person constantly. Um, your angels are calling you because this, de this death card has to happen. Endings need, needs to bring new beginnings, okay? The only way the new beginning is going to come, and this is actually going to come forward and actually make you happy and give you your ten of cups and your happiness and your bliss, is for something to end before it begins, okay? And if it does not, now there's two ways that this can go. If this doesn't happen, then you're going to stay in this this scenario okay you're gonna be tempted and you're gonna be under this illusion and and things aren't gonna pan out things are gonna fall through and you're gonna have delays and frustrations and the breakdown of communication from your person okay um and why because the judgment card reversed self fucking doubt and what does self doubt hap happen causes you to be more egotistical which is going to cause that person to not want to be around you because they don't they don't care for be for people that are egotistical, okay? They want people that have confidence. And so that would make Miss Queen of Pentacles upright, who's now back to her normal self again, okay? Okay, so Obvi, this is a love reading. It's turned into that. <laughs> Picking up very strongly, someone is very in their feels and thoughts about someone and cannot make a decision about said person. Why? Mm, let's find out. Let's see. Why can't we make a decision, spirits? God, all these cards are all kind of fucked up. Hold on, let me a good shuffle. If this is you, whoever this is in this collection, and you're like holding shit back because you're scared and all this, Okay, you need to put your big boy pants on and act like a big boy, okay? Act your age, not your dick size, okay? And if you're a female, act your age, not your tit size. <laughs> okay, all right, let's try this again. All right, Angel Michael, tell us what we need to know. Please, thank you. All right, so, okay, so this new person, you have very happy emotions with. In fact, you're, you've been falling in love with this person with romantic feelings for quite some time. You've been seeing signs and synchronicities of this person. Even though you've been guarded, being alone, kind of trying to be a hermit and all this, all this has not changed. And it's all... I feel like it's been a long time, too. Yeah, yeah. this is faded. This is meant to be. This is destiny, this connection. And you, ha you have been watching this person on their social media for a hot oh, minute. You know it. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. See? Disguising yourself. So you've been watching them on their social media, on Sith Media. You've been watching them on your social media under different profiles, fake profiles, hiding yourself, watching. Hmm. Interesting. And yet you're scared. You gotta stop self doubting yourself in order to get here. Because this is what you really want with this person, a relationship. I love you. I hope it helped. Go get your bitch. Your bitch wants you too. <laughs>